U.S. EVA 84 starts with EV1 Koichi Wakata with the red stripes on his suit coming out the hatch first. EV2, Nicole Mann, will be handing out a bag that has cables in it and a large bag that has the mod kit struts in it. Koichi will put the cable bag onto his body restraint tether and be prepared to hand the strut bag to Nicole as she comes out of the hatch. Once they're in position, Koichi will start his translation up the Ceta Spur to get to the front face of the International Space Station to start his translation out toward the starboard part. He'll stop and attach his safety tether and Nicole's safety tether as their anchor point and then continue on out the starboard truss. Along the way, Koichi will stop and drop off his cable bag. Once that's in position, he'll continue translating starboard. As he moves along the truss, he'll stop and he'll put down what we call a green hook, which allows him to go the rest of the way. Nicole will close the thermal cover. She'll have the MMOD strut bag on her body restraint tether and follow the same path that Koichi did. Nicole Mann will follow Koichi's translation path as she gets to the solar ray alpha rotary joint and gets to the 1A work site. She'll stow the strut bag and restrain it in position. Once that's done, she'll make her way back to the crew and equipment translation aid attached to the mobile transporter and retrieve the articulating portable foot restraint with an extender. Once she has that attached to her body restraint tether, she'll make her way outboard towards the starboard end and her work site at the 1 Alpha Beta Gimbal Assembly. She'll install this foot restraint and position it for the work she's going to do shortly. Nicole will collect part of what we refer to as the upper triangle, which is uh, sections of truss that are part of the mod kit assembly. This will become uh, the beginning backbone of the entire mod kit. These struts are put into position and bolted together. While Nicole is working on that, Koichi heads out to the 1B beta gimbal assembly and tightens two collar bolts on the right hand side and left hand side of the 1 Bravo mod kit. Koichi will translate back inboard and join Nicole at the 1A work site. Nicole will translate over to the articulating portable foot restraint and ingress. Koichi positions the upper triangle and hands that up to Nicole. Nicole takes the upper triangle and drives four bolts to attach it to the beta gimbal assembly. Koichi hands up the lower strut and the mid strut and then translates to get into position to install them. Both crew members work together to drive the bolts on the right lower strut and secure it in place. Once the lower strut's installed, Koichi repositions to install the mid strut. Again, the two crew members work together to get the right mid strut in place and drive the bolts which hold it. Once the right struts are in place, Koichi goes back to the strut bag and hands up the mid strut and the lower strut to Nicole.
Nicole ingresses the foot restraint. And the two crew members work together to install the left hand lower strut. Once that's in place, they work together yet again to install the mid strut. Once all the struts have been put in place, they drive the final collar bolts, which rigidize the whole system in place. They put the multi-layer insulation back in place to cover up all of the metal components. Koichi translates over to the right-hand mid-strut and does the same collar bolts on that side. Once the collar bolts have been driven in place, Nicole can egress the foot restraint and start routing the IROSA cables. These cables will be installed once the IROSA flies up the summer of 2023. Koichi then routes the cables on the right-hand side, and that completes the installation of the mod kit. The crew will then translate back and stow the articulating portable foot restraint. And return the strut bag to the airlock. In the meantime, Nicole picks up a cable is part of the DC to DC converter unit jumper. She'll install a cable at two different locations on the strut and then make her way back to the airlock. Both crew members will meet back at the airlock Open up the thermal cover. They'll stow the bags that they've taken out with them into the airlock. Nicole will lead back inside and Koichi will follow. They'll close the thermal cover and then the hatch inside and that will end USCBA 84.